Zucchini season is almost over, so I guess we're coming to the end of my plethora of zucchini recipes. But I'd like to get one more in if I can. It's a zucchini banana muffin, perfect for breakfast and super simple to throw together. You need to start with grating two zucchini. You're gonna need a total of one and a half cups of grated zucchini. This looks like about a cup. I'm gonna follow the recipe this time. I generally do with baking. You also need a third of a cup of mashed banana. The riper your banana, the easier this is to do. If you have a ton of bananas around and you realize that you're not gonna eat them all and they seem like they're getting too ripe, peel them and put them into a resealable freezer bag and throw them in your freezer. They're great in smoothies and they're also good in baked goods. All right. For the dry ingredients, I have one and three quarters cups of all-purpose flour. Add a half a cup of ground flax meal. You can also buy flax seeds and grind it up yourself if you can't find the ground flax meal. A cup of light brown sugar. Everything is just getting whisked together. No need for any machines in this recipe. Two teaspoons of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder. Half teaspoon of coarse salt. If you're using fine, just go ahead and use a quarter teaspoon. And then a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Whisk everything until it's fully combined. Add three quarters of a cup of milk, whole milk. You could use uh, low-fat milk if you wanted to. And then one large egg. A teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. The banana, should be a third of a cup, this looks good. Looks good to me. And the zucchini. There we go. Stir together. There's not a lot of additional liquid in this recipe because the zucchini and the banana add a lot of moisture and you don't want it overly moist. Stir till everything is fully combined. And then in your muffin tin, these have been sprayed with a vegetable oil cooking spray. Divide your batter evenly. You wanna have your oven preheating to 350 degrees. I'm using an ice cream scoop to transfer my batter. This is the perfect tool to get really nice, even muffins. Also, your hands don't get dirty. Bake your muffins until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean 20 to 25 minutes. When they're done, they're puffed and golden and beautiful with flecks of green inside. And I didn't mention this when I was making them, but there's no added fat you'll probably remember that I didn't add butter or oil. So, pretty fantastic. It's a low-fat option for a great breakfast snack. Mmm, mmm, and full of delicious flavors.